Hey guys! Since so many of you wanted to see more watercolor techniques and bookmark ideas, I will show you another 6 fun watercolor techniques and ideas that you can use for your watercolor paintings. First, let's divide the paper in 3 equal sections using artist tape. As some of you mentioned, you can also use washi tape, so thank you so much for your tip. Next, distribute some water over the first section of the paper so it's completely wet and then apply any color combination using a wet brush. I used different colors and let them run into each other. If you added too much water, you can always use a tissue paper and soak up the excess water. And here comes the first technique I wanted to share with you guys. Wrap a coin into some tissue paper so you get a flat round surface and then dab it onto the wet paint and then remove it. This way you lift the paint and reveal the white paper underneath. This lifting technique is great if you want to remove some mistakes, make the color brighter or as in this case if you want to create an interesting effect by using a flat object. You can use any size or shape for this technique, just make sure the surface of the object is flat for it to work. After you created these circles, you can go ahead and paint around them to intensify the colors. But let's let it dry for now and come back to it later. Another way to use this lifting technique is just using a tissue paper. First, apply some paint onto the paper the same way as we just did with the first design. And then crumple up some tissue paper and carefully dab it over the wet paint. The random pattern of the tissue paper will reveal the white paper underneath and create a unique pattern. Let it dry for now and we can move on to the next technique. The next technique is all about layering. Since watercolor is naturally rather transparent since you usually use lots of water, you can play around with opacity by layering different colors. Here I created different color circles by using bright colors that I mix with lots of water to get a bright layer of paint. Add them to different areas and at the very edge like I did here to create a seamless pattern. While the circles are drying, we can go back to the first design. Another cool technique is called glazing. Here you are applying a thin and a rather transparent layer of paint onto the dry layer of paint underneath. It's great if you want to adjust the colors or the tone of the applied layer of paint. But since the first design is all about lifting and glazing, we can go ahead and continue the dabbing to lift the paint to continue our pattern. Now when we lift the paint with the tissue and the coin, the color of the paper we reveal now is different since the layer below was already dry and was colored differently. You can also use the glazing technique for the second design and add warmth to it by applying a thin layer of yellow paint. This pattern kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon and a sunset for some reason. Since I wanted to create a very interesting bouquet effect for the first design, I went over the areas around each circle we have created so far with a wet brush that was loaded with some paint and applied the paint around the lifted areas. You can use the same colors again just with less water and more paint and make them run into each other. But be careful when you do that so you don't mess up the pattern we just created. Now while everything is drying, I can show you another fun technique and it's called wax resist painting. For this technique you are going to need a white crayon and then you can draw over the dry paper to create a pattern or if you want you can also write something on top. Now all you need to do is apply some paint with a wet brush over the area to reveal the pattern. Since I used a white crayon the pattern will be white but you can use any color. Just be sure that the shade of the watercolor you will use on top is not the same color. While this design is drying for now, I will show you another cool idea to create a pattern. If you have seen my last watercolor technique video, we used cling film to create a unique pattern. But here we are going to use bubble wrap. Apply some paint in the colors of your choice using a wet brush and then place the bubble wrap on top. Carefully press it down and let it completely dry. Now while this is drying, we can move on to the next technique. But first, we need to prepare the paper. Load up your brush with the color of your choice and apply it to the whole section. Be sure to use a generous amount of paint so the layer is not too bright and transparent 
you want to make it rather dark and vibrant. While this is drying, you can go back to our first designs. Now we can add more circles. Here you can use different colors and use lots of water again to make the color rather translucent. This way when you apply the paint, you will see how another shade of color appears when you overlap two different layers of paint. You can use less water and more paint to make the circle darker and opaque, or you add more water and use less paint to make the color more translucent. While the circles are drying, we can go back to the second design. If you paint with watercolors, you don't always have to use just watercolors. You can also use other mediums like acrylic paint. For this technique, I'm going to use a doily as a stencil and a foam brush to apply white acrylic paint. With the rest of the paint that is still on the brush, you can just carefully dab over the painting to create another unique pattern. Since our first design is already dry, we can apply another layer of glaze. Here I'm using a bright green color and lift the circles the same way. To intensify the green color, I applied more green paint around the circles I just created. Repeat the same with the rest of the painting and let it dry again. If you want, you can also add another layer of glaze to the second design and let it dry as well. Okay, now let's go back to the last design we just prepared. For this technique, you are going to need a stencil. Here I just punched out the hearts using a heart shaped puncher and a piece of watercolor paper, then place it over the dry layer of paint. Now take a clean wet brush and make several brush strokes over the area where you want to lift the watercolor. Wipe off the watercolor using a tissue paper and repeat the step. You can also dab on the tissue and lift some of the paint. To remove and lift more paint, rinse off your brush again and repeat the steps. As I said earlier, this technique is great if you want to remove any mistakes or just make the colors a little bit brighter. Now let's remove the bubble wrap and see how it turned out. I really love the result, what do you guys think? Since everything is still drying, we can also add more paint to the wax resist painting to just intensify the color and make it more vibrant. I really like how the crayon makes the pattern and the letters look like as if we use chalk on a blackboard. If you want, you can add more patterns over the second design using a doily again and just transfer some parts of it using a sponge brush or a wet brush and white acrylic paint. And when everything is completely dry, it's time to peel off the tape. Also, thank you guys for sharing your hair dryer tip. Blowing some hot air over the sticky tape really makes a huge difference and it really does prevent the paper from tearing off when you peel off the tape. And this is the result. I really love how unique and interesting all the designs look. Now all we need to do is cutting the bookmarks to size. By the way, all these techniques can be used for any painting to make them look more fun and interesting. I just wanted to share some of them in a fun way. If you want to learn more watercolor techniques, I have another video about other techniques on my channel. I will link it here and in the description box, so go check it out. And if you want to be featured in one of my videos, be sure to hashtag your creations with the hashtag lookmako so I can find them. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!